Once upon a time in a serene little forest, there lived a witty and sarcastic squirrel named Nuts. Nuts was quite unlike other squirrels, he had a dark sense of humor that would make even the grumpiest owl crack a smile. One day, as Nuts was diligently gathering acorns for his winter stash, he overheard a peculiar conversation among the other animals. Have you heard? The world is ending, whispered a frantic rabbit to a clueless deer. Nuts's ears perked up, and he chuckled, well, that's not surprising. The way humans treat the environment, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Curiosity peaked, Nuts scurried from branch to branch, eavesdropping on conversations and gathering scraps of information. It turned out that a group of mischievous raccoons had found a mysterious artifact in a long-forgotten human settlement. They claimed it had the power to bring about the apocalypse. Now, why would they want to do that? Nuts asked, half amused and half concerned. Do they not know that this forest is all the paradise we need? The other animals were in a frenzy, trying to figure out how to stop the raccoons from triggering the supposed end of the world. Meanwhile, Nuts was busy composing his squirrel's guide to surviving the apocalypse. In his guide, he wrote, Step 1, Stockpile all the acorns and hide them in a secret vault. Step 2, Learn to communicate with birds, maybe they can help us negotiate with the humans. Step 3, Convince the bears to join our cause. After all, they're the ultimate survival experts. As the tension in the forest mounted, Nuts couldn't help but crack dark jokes to lighten the mood. Why did the deer join the doomsday cult? Because they heard the leader was a real endlogist. Despite the imminent threat, Nuts remained composed, knowing that laughter could be a powerful antidote to fear. He rallied his fellow squirrels, forming the Nutty Coalition with their motto, When life gives you a world-ending artifact, throw acorns back at it. The animals' efforts to stop the raccoons seemed hopeless, but they pressed on, displaying remarkable unity. Nuts, being a squirrel of intellect, came up with a daring plan. He had observed how the artifact needed a source of immense energy to activate. After some contemplation and more than a few jokes, he realized that the ancient stone circle in the heart of the forest could act as a natural conduit for the artifact's power. With time running out, Nuts and his team devised an intricate scheme involving a beehive catapult, a series of pulleys, and a lot of acorns to lure the raccoons away from the stone circle. As they executed the plan, the forest turned into a chaotic and comical battlefield. Hey raccoons, why don't you join us for a game of dodge the acorn? Nuts taunted, dodging the raccoons' frustrated attempts to catch him. In the final showdown, the raccoons were close to activating the artifact. But just as they thought they had one, the earth beneath the stone circle trembled, and a booming voice filled the air. It was the great ancient oak tree, awakened by the disturbance in its sacred grove. Who dares to disturb my slumber? Roared the oak. Oh, mighty oak, it's just the raccoons and their world-ending artifact, Nuts replied with a grin. I bet they didn't even bring you a gift. The ancient oak tree laughed heartily, shaking the ground and scattering the raccoons in all directions. Fear not, little ones. I shall deal with these rascals. The oak's roots entangled the raccoons, disarming them and dragging the artifact away to a place where it could never cause harm. The world-ending threat was averted, thanks to the wit, humor, and courage of Nuts and his fellow forest dwellers. As peace returned to the forest, the animals celebrated their victory with a grand feast. Nuts was hailed as a hero, but he humbly waved off the praise. Oh, it was nothing, he said, grinning. After all, who would want to end the world when there are so many more jokes to be cracked and acorns to be gathered? And so, life continued in the forest, with nuts still cracking jokes, making everyone smile, and reminding them that even in the darkest of times, laughter could be the light that guides them through. As long as they had their acorns and each other, they knew they could weather any storm, be it natural or man-made.